Hi there. Thanks for joining me in a short look at our recent advances in bot design by way of the FAA Bot, an SMS-based flight planning tool for amateur and professional pilots. Let's start exactly where new pilots will start on their first encounter with the bot. When we haven't seen a pilot before, we need to either create an account or associate an existing account with the pilot's mobile phone number. We have three separate workflows for registration depending on how new the pilot is to our service. The upshot of all three is an encrypted mapping from the pilot's phone number to her full flight services account. We don't spend too much time on this here because once we're finished, neither we nor the pilot will ever see this again. What the pilot will see each time is the main menu, and as it indicates, flight plans are the real focus of the FAA bot. We're going to create a new flight plan in just a second via a series of questions and answers. Structurally, it's similar to the tried and true form. Before we get too far, let's pause to talk about airplanes and the benefits of a chat-based interface. On the form, you can see four different fields identify the aircraft. Between the pilot's profile and information pulled in real time from the International Civil Aviation Organization, we can not only present the pilot's planes in a pleasant, human-readable fashion, but also fill in the required fields based on this single answer. While we're on the metaphor, note that the FAA bot uses a specially designed Q&A engine to manage our virtual form. Rather than a simple series of outputs and inputs, our Q&A engine ingests a definition of each field containing properties such as order, validation, prompting and reprompting, and transformations between human and machine readable. It can then render the form in a series of questions or, as shown here, as a summary that allows editing. Oh no! Our proposed route enters a restricted zone. Perhaps we'd better reroute through Pittsburgh. That's better. Let's taxi on over to the Pilot Profile section. Here, pilots can log some flight time. Or they can view their available planes. As an aside, note two interesting things here. First, these are some of the hidden values we used to populate our flight plan earlier. And second, we're actually using the QA engine to render this read-only view of our plane model. Neat, huh? Yeah, yeah. Let's move on. <clears throat> we also offer a series of reports. First, we're interacting with the National Weather Service for pilot-friendly weather reports. We can get a report on the current weather for, say, Denver International. Note the clouds and wind direction. Or we can get a forecast, which comes back to us in a set of time slices. If we're landing at Dulles around midnight, for instance, we might check the 2200 to 0400 Zulu slice. Hmm, could be cloudy. In addition to these simple reports, we can also call for a full briefing on an airport. These briefings are much longer and more detailed than would fit in a text, so we let the user email them to herself. In the formatted reply, they contain information such as specific terminal and runway conditions, as well as alerts about the surrounding area. We also provide route-specific reports and maps. These reports can be accessed when filing a new flight plan or after the fact via the Manage Flight Plan menu. 
Let's fast forward through another new flight plan and watch what happens after it's filed. We send the pilot a fancy route map showing the terrain and waypoints, and then we forward her directly to the Manage Flight Plan menu. From here, she can manage the plan, including activating it, changing it, or deleting it, and in the report submenu, a route briefing is now available. It's very similar to the area briefing, except it arrives with even more information. The route map can be accessed anytime via the route report menu, and we offer a series of additional maps, including satellite imagery, both visible and infrared, and what are called sectionals. Now let's change our heading over to some back-end features that make life easier for bot administrators. To start with, we've partnered with an analytics service called Dashbot. At Dashbot, we can see some basic stats on usage and engagement, and we can see all of the users who have interacted with the bot recently, including full transcripts of their sessions. We also make use of a logging framework called Winston, including custom integration with our underlying bot code. Our logs make their way to an online indexing service called Logly. On Logly, we can search all of our logs by field, including filters and queries for specific concerns. Oh no! In the last hour, we had two requests that took longer than 100 milliseconds. I'll have to look into the... Oh. Well, the captain has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign, so strap in, because the FAA bot is finished taxiing and ready to fly. Thanks for watching!